So right now I'll be placing my paper right on my fabric to cut. Okay, you may want to use pin to hold it in place or you look for a very good weight. So I'm going to be marking across. So I'm going to be marking this point where my row line is and also right here I'll be marking my testing the, the end line and then the waist line the chest line so that is the points I'm going to have to notch so once I have this done the next thing I want to do is before I do other that you see this one inch I have here, if I have to close it later on, it's, this place is going to be shorter than the lower part. So, I have to add to it. I have to add that, add that uh, the measurement so, so that, so from the waistline, you just mark and then, okay, right from this point you, you mark upward and then you rule like one inch. And after ruling that one inch, the next thing you want to do is you mark that one inch and then you connect from the waistline like that one inch to the top. So that way you'll be sure when you close it, it's going to get back to be the same thing with this exact point. I don't want to do that on the paper because if I had to do that, I would, it would affect this piece and so I think we can just do that directly on the fabric and once we've done this and then you mark your uh, fold line right here too so once we have this done we can then go ahead and make our darts so I'm going to be making my dart here is what I'm going to be doing so you place your ruler right on this line and then you place your chalk just below it and mark And then you repeat the same thing for the other dark legs. So once you get there, then this point as well, you want to repeat the same thing for it. Okay. Now this way, okay, let's mark the midpoint of the dark too. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. Now that we have this point done, the next thing we need to do is mark the pocket position. We want to mark the pocket position as well. The same exact way. Okay. And then the roll line. Yes. We want to mark the roll line also. Making sure you have a nice nice roll okay once you have this done you can then remove your pattern and right there you can see we have almost all this thing duplicated right on my this thing 
so if you choose to you can rule this line the waist line also you can choose to like rule this waist line and then this point as well so now we have the front part cut so i would have done this on the what do i call it but this i'm sure this is going to be a, a very nice one for me so but since it's the first thing you are trying i would advise that you try this thing on a muslin first and wear it on yourself so you see how it fits you, you see what needs to be adjusted what, and after, after the adjustment you can then transfer it to the fabric that way you'll be sure you're not wasting your fabric then the first time trying a new approach so that's that for the front back the front part now right ahead we move to the uh, this thing to the side panel the same process we repeat the same process for the side panel And then you mark your uh, your lines, all these lines. You mark it also. The waist line, you mark it on both sides, and then the chest line. So you want to be sure you are not. And maybe the hip line. That is not too necessary. So once I have this, you want to connect. Okay. So once we have this done. Both the, what do I call it? The front part and the side panel is almost ready now. But one thing we have to do to the side panel is, uh, oh, you know what I was thinking? To save fabric, this will not really accommodate. Okay, it's okay, no problem. We still have enough fabric. So one thing you have to do is, I'm adding three inches to this point, and then right from my waistline, I'll be coming down by two inches on the side panel, and then I'll go out more by two inches and connect that. I'll be connecting that to my three inches below, and boom, I have my vent. For the side, I have my side vent done. So once I do this, you repeat the same process right for the back part. Already I've added the vent to the, uh, to the back part already. So you are going to apply the same thing and cut it out like that. But before you go ahead and cut, there's one thing you want to do, which is you, you want to add allowance to it. So in my case, I'm only going to be adding half of an inch allowance to all those points. Half of an inch. There's no need for allowance at the end. But this point, I'm going to be adding half of an inch all through to all these points. And right at this point, I'm only going to be adding like a quarter, then extending it by, by one inch right here. Yes, that will be trimmed away later. So we can just have it for now. And then, you repeat the same thing for this side too. Half of an inch. Half of an inch. Half of an inch. So that is the allowance I'm going to be adding. And right at this point, I want to be adding about one inch to that, and which is what you would not want to forget. And this one inch is so that if you want to adjust it, maybe you have it big, or you have it too uh, tight, I don't know. Maybe you have it too big. Or you have, I mean, you have it too tight, at the end of the day you can 
ease it out from this one inch you have right here. So it is cool to have it one inch at this side and others half of an inch all around. Every other part half of an inch. So I'm going to be adding my half of an inch allowance to that and then cut it out right now. <laughs> 